Hey guys, so today in this video I'm going to show you my everyday makeup routine. Every day people don't wear makeup. They do wear makeup. They don't want to have on red lips or glitter on their eyes or you know all that dramatic stuff. Sometimes they just want a simple look but to look flawless. So this is what we call a makeup routine or an everyday makeup routine or whatever. This is also great for people who want to wear makeup when they're going to school or um you know, work and don't want to have to do eyeshadow every day or wear a color on their lips every day. This is perfect for you. I know it looks like I have on a lot and not in a bad way. It looks like I really did myself up. But honestly, these steps are about like one, two, three, snap and you're done. A lot of people ask me all the time, like, what do you use on your face? What do you use on your face? And ironically, they don't realize that I make YouTube videos all the time, you know? So... This is just the overall video for those people who are asking, like, what do you use on the face? How do you do this? How do you do that? This is just a video for those people who are asking and just want to see all of it and all, you know? So definitely stay tuned if you want to see how I get this gorgeous makeup. And I'm really impressed with my makeup today because I'm super sick. Oh, guys, also, I'm really, really sick. So excuse my voice, my, um... My nose is runny, my nose is stuffy, my throat is hurting, my ears are clogged. <sighs> and please guys, I if I seem a little down, it's not because I'm down. It's because I'm sick and I'm low on energy and everything is different. My hair is by Save on Lux. Um, but I had to get up out of bed and make a video because I ain't put on makeup in a week, okay? And I ain't do a video in a minute. I've been laying in bed drinking tea all day, eating cough drops, and just scrolling. Like, seriously. Like, I can't deal with it anymore. I had to get up and do this. <laughs> um, stay tuned <laughs> if you want to see how I get this makeup. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to start off with is my brows. I always start off with my brows. I don't know why. It's just like, you know, it helps everything come together. It's like... <laughs> the frame of your face. So I'm going to start off with some clear brow gel and I'm just going to sweep the spoolie through my brows to get them moist so they don't be all dry and crusty. Good brush and this is by Juvia's Place and I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color chocolate. And I'm so sad because I left this out overnight without a cap and it's dried out now. So guys, tip of the day. Don't leave your gel products with no cap. But thank God I'm going to Sephora today because I'm going to get a new one. It's basically focusing on the tail and just filling in any bald spots. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with some concealer. You can use foundation, but concealer is a better consistency to me. It's more thicker and foundation is just... I don't know, foundation is really thin, so I don't really recommend using foundation for um, sculpting out your brows and cleaning them up. Um, concealer, is, concealer is really thick and it has a lot of coverage, so I feel like it really gets it, you know, really sharp. And I'm going to just take a flat concealer brush and just clean up. Go under my brow and make sure that that whole line under is even. And then with the concealer, I'm going to blend it into my eyelid. And then, just because I always do this, I'm just going to go on top. You don't have to do this, but this is my choice. I just think my brow is really neat. Right now, if I was doing a regular look, I would do eyeshadow right now. A everyday look, you don't wear eyeshadow. So I'm not going to do any eyeshadow um, right now. I'm going to just do a little bit later. But right now, you want to focus on skin. And skin is the most important part in makeup because that's what makes you have a flawless face. Like You could have the worst eyeshadow ever. If your foundation, your concealer, and everything is on point, your makeup will look totally fine. Like Now I'm going to focus on um, my skin. So I'm going to use my Makeup Forever foundation. And this is in the color one, N173. Now, um, 
Some of you guys are younger, so you don't really need foundation. So if you don't wear foundation, don't use it. Foundation is more to even out your skin tone. So if you have um, kind of like discoloration, and discoloration is when, you know, um, some parts of your face is darker and the other parts of your face is lighter. So I have a little bit of discoloration on my forehead, and I got that because I burnt myself with the curling iron two times. So I have a little bit on my forehead, so I do need to put some foundation over here. And I used to suffer from discoloration when I was younger and high school. And um, I had it around my cheeks and um, my chin. I know a lot of people suffer from it around their chin, their nose area, their mouth, and um, their eyes. So if you have that problem, you can definitely try to wear some foundation, but um, overall, I think that concealer just does the work. Make sure that you get the skin tone, like your exact skin tone. You don't want to get one or two shades lighter. One two shades lighter for concealer is only for your under eye to brighten and make you look awake. Try concealer first because that's how I started out. I started out only wearing concealer first. As you guys know, back in the day in my old videos, I only wore concealer and I only wore Kat Von D concealer. But now... For some reason, I'm, you know, I'm a makeup girl, so of course I'm going to try new stuff and be into new stuff. So, I did start using foundation. Um, I'm not a big fan of this foundation. I really, really love the Chanel Perfection Lumiere foundation, but I can't find it. And it's a lot of money. <laughs> it's expensive. So, and I just haven't really had the time to just go get it, you know. So, I'm just going to apply this on with, um, with my brush. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to apply this on with my Sigma flat kabuki brush and this is a F80 brush um, you guys always see me use this when I do my foundation so I'm just gonna put one to two squirts put some on each side and blend it in I'm really loving my skin nowadays like my skin has gotten so much better um, I really went through a phase where my skin was just so bad and that was recently honestly and I know you guys probably don't know because you guys always like, oh my god, you have great skin. But I knew and I didn't like it. So my skin has gotten so much better. Like, it's so clear. Like, I don't know what the heck I was doing. But, you know, you guys know I'm loyal to my a ointment. But for some reason, I haven't been using it lately. I don't know. I don't know why. But I just haven't been using it. Now... When you're doing your foundation, you want to make sure that you're taking it all the way down your jawline. Because other than that, you will be like, have a line right there. No one should know you have on makeup. People should know that your face looks flawless, but they shouldn't be like, yeah, because she has on makeup, you know? A lot of people do that to me. Like, they like, oh my god, your face is flawless. It never comes to the mind that I have on makeup. <laughs> you know, it's just, I know it sounds weird, but it's true, like, especially guys. So if you're trying to snag a boy, don't talk to boys, matter of fact. I'm going to use that same concealer, and this is the, um, what is it? <laughs> MAC Select Cover Up, and this is in the color NC45. See, I remember the color. I'm going to squeeze some out, and I'm not using a lot either. Um, a concealer that is just like this one, but a little bit less expensive, is LA Girls Pro Longwear Concealer. And this is how it looks. This is in the color Fawn. This is my color, but I actually ran out of this one, so it's really no more in here. So that's why I'm using the MAC. But if you guys are looking for um, a good concealer that is like a dollar and not $30, then definitely... Um, invest in the LA Girls Pro Longwear. Is it Pro Longwear? No, <laughs> that's MAC. LA Girls, I'm like so sick, okay? This is the LA Girls Pro Concealer HD. That's what it's called. And I'll list the website below where you can find it. It's not hard to find. But I have to use my beauty blender. Um, I'm gonna damp this with some water and come back and show you guys how I blend out. Okay, so I'm just gonna tap this concealer away basically now I'm starting around the edges of the concealer and then I'm gonna work my way in now note that this concealer is damp with water and you want to make sure that you're bringing it 
all the way to your bottom waterline because that's going to make you look more, you know, wide awake. And I'm going to bring some of that on my eyelid just to make my eyelids look a bit lighter. And I'm going to do the same steps. And bring it all the way to my bottom lash line. And then pat the access on my eyelid. Now as you can see, I didn't use a lot. But it definitely did conceal. Now because I love highlight, I'm going to use this MAC um, Prep and Prime um, Concealer. And this is not really a concealer to conceal your dark spots. It's a concealer to brighten up the concealer you already applied. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this. And on my chin a little bit on my nose right here and that's it and I'm gonna tap that away with the same beauty blender and you want to make sure you bring that up all the way to your lower lash line just like before now as you can see that has totally brightened up my look like I look totally different to my Ben Nye luxury powder I take a beauty sponge I got these at Walgreens for about like three dollars I love using these when I use the banana Ben Nye powder I'm gonna um, pick up some and pat it under my eye and this is gonna set my concealer now as you guys know I never used to do these steps at all like these steps were so irrelevant to me. I never used to wear foundation. I never used to set my concealer. I never used to do any of this. But because I have grown so much in the makeup industry, I have learned new techniques, new ways, and, you know, new things to do. Wait. I'm going to take MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer, and this is in the color... NC50 and I'm just gonna take my finger honestly I don't feel like getting a brush I'm gonna put this in my contour meaning like right below my cheekbone that's your contour I'm gonna put some under my chin this will make your chin look smaller and I'm gonna put some around my forehead and I'm gonna pat away gonna wipe away that banana powder and I'm really just gonna dust it away and as you can see that gave my makeup such a flawless matte look like okay so this is the fun part for me this is Inglot's gel eyeliner and this is in the number 77 and this is a matte eyeliner so that means that it's gonna dry matte it won't be shiny on your eyelids and I'm gonna take this super super tiny um liner brush and I got this from the art store this is actually a paint brush but it works so good for some reason I've just been feeling thick eyeliner thick eyeliner is so in right now for me I'm gonna kind of do it more natural along my eyelid and then when I get to the wing it's gonna be more thick This is the Mascara Zoom Lash by MAC. I don't know what the heck to wear today. Now I'm using these lashes by Juvia's Place and these are mink lashes. 
Um, I just applied some glue on it and I'm just going to apply it to my lash line. Hope I'm just going to take that same eyeliner brush and just go on my waterline. go into my mascara and carefully coat my bottom lashes because this can easily get on my concealer it see so now I'm gonna go in with some bronzer this is covergirl queen um, this is a pressed powder and this is in the color golden medium Q415 and I'm just taking um, a Sedona lace angled brush and I'm actually fluffing this around like my whole cheek. I'm not just putting it in one spot. I'm fluffing it around because I love the golden um, look that it gives me. I love it. So now I'm going to go in with this blush. And this is um, a blush from For Your Fans um, Makeup Company. And I'm going to dab it on my cheeks. And I'm going to swipe back and forth from my cheeks back to my ear. So, I'm going to swipe this back. This is from e.l.f. It's a little fan brush. Nothing too crazy. It's $3. This um, highlight from NARS. And this is in the color. Not color, but the... What is it? I guess the color. Albatross. I don't know if you guys can see it now. But it's gorgeous. I use it all the time. I use it on my clients all the time. It's amazing. I'm going to put some on my chin and in the middle of my forehead. This is going to give me a really glowish look. Take um, just a shader brush. You can take any brush. And I'm going to put this under my brow bone. And this is definitely going to make your eyebrows look higher. And this is going to bring such a different look to your face. Like This is a step that I can never skip. If I'm doing my face or my clients, like this step is so important to me. It makes your whole face look different. So um, we're basically done with the face. Now all we have to do is go onto the lips. So I'm gonna go in with this. Um, what is this called? <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this lip liner by NYX, and this is in the color Nude Truffle. And I'm gonna line my lips. So I'm gonna go in with this. Um, I'm gonna go in with this lipstick by Dollhouse, and this is in the color. Um, it says it says mellow, but I think that they changed the name to Skin, I believe. And I'm gonna gently pat that. I don't ever like swipe my lipstick like that. Like I seriously just pat like four pats, and I'm done. I'm gonna go in with this lip gloss by MAC and this is in the color instant gold so it's really like a gold shimmery lip gloss that I can't get over see it's like gorgeous and this is seriously my everyday look so that's basically it for my everyday look um, I named every product that I use um, on a daily um of course i don't wear this much makeup every day i don't wear makeup every day but when i do wear makeup it's usually when i'm going somewhere and um if i just want a natural look like and just like throw on look that i know that will look perfect um this is what i do so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys got some really good tips um stay tuned because i will be giving a makeup class and i will share these tips and more tips 
um, at my makeup class. If you're in the New York area, then definitely stay tuned because I... My makeup class is going to be located in New York, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'll keep you guys posted about that. I'll make a YouTube video about it, and it will be all over my Instagram. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video and you thought this video was helpful, then definitely thumbs this video up. And also subscribe to my channel for more videos. And, um, you know, feel free to let me know what you guys want to see. Bye. Mwah.